Today's topic brought to you by uh, our boys overseas in the UK, the United oh, Kingdom. Really? Essentially, uh, this guy who's from the UK said men should go east to go to Eastern Europe to meet women because the women over there are more attractive. Felicity, is your blood boiling? Yes, I'm almost so angry I can't talk, actually. Um, but are I... you just moaning all the time? Well, well, that's one of those things about um, one of those criticisms, right? It's like saying somebody can't take criticism. Um, it's very difficult to come back from that. Yeah. Um, so but you haven't got an answer for it. That's great. I okay. haven't got an answer um, about being <laughs> entitled and overweight. You don't? Well, no, I think being entitled is blaming your lack of relationship success on an entire nation of women. I was very successful in England, very, very successful, but I noticed that every time I saw a beautiful woman and went, went to talk to her, where are you from? Oh, Sweden. Oh, Russia. There's oh, no the beautiful Ukraine. women in the UK. No, there are, I for think sure. That's most of, most, a lot of them are foreign in London, and it's just comparatively, there are way more in Russia. So, you know, you walk down Oxford Street, you see a few beautiful women, many of them are foreign. You walk down the equivalent street in Moscow, it's like, my God, you know, it's there, they're everywhere. A woman from the UK is going to be pissed off listening to this. Someone that's traveled is going to understand what he's saying. Yep. That's all I'm saying. We're not all created equal. <laughs> and there's definitely more beautiful people in certain areas than others. And we'll be like, well, beauty's subjective. Yeah, but we, we still have societal beauty norms. You know, we do. It is what it is. And, 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 and look at the top models. What are their last names always? Ska, Ova, all of that. The, 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 the end, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, come on now. And it's the same thing for men. Same thing for men. Yeah. But I, I said I, I, I have homegirls who be like, man, when I go to specific spots in the Caribbean or when I go here, the men are so much more... Yeah, but I, I've said this. I've said this about <clears throat> this about here. Yeah. Like just here, the ratio of beautiful men to beautiful women is one beautiful man to thirty-one beautiful women. Yeah. The ratio is off. Am I pissed off that I just called myself not that attractive? It's just a no, fact. It's wonderful. It's, it's amazing. It's just a fact. So you know how wonderful it is to have so many attractive women, not enough attractive dudes. It makes average dudes like me slide up in like, hey man, I could try. <laughs> I'm not saying I can dunk like he can, but you know what I mean? I can lay it up, baby. I can't dunk like he can, but I got balls. Hey, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, it is what it is. Do you think there were any other reasons why you weren't particularly successful with British women when you were looking for I was very successful, like I said. You're not listening to what he's saying. Yeah, they're, they're trying to push the Because your butt point. hurt. Yeah. And you try to... So why are you uh, not successful? I was very successful with other women. It's just that whenever I noticed this, it was a lot of... So why are you not successful with British women? So what you're saying... So what you're saying, like that, yeah, like that other <laughs> Kathy girl. Newman with Jordan Peterson. Yeah. So what you're saying is that you weren't successful because you're an ass. When I went to Russia, I found the whole package, the looks, the character, everything. Uh, your, your mother's English, right? Yes, she is. So does she also qualify as unattractive, stupid, entitled, and the rest of it, or is she an exception? No, but she lives out there with me, and she agrees. She your mother agrees women... that all English women are awful, even no, though she's an English woman? No, she agrees that they're better out there. Right. She says they're lovely, honest people, kind, and there's beautiful women everywhere. Right. I think you're just peddling, like, a really dangerous, like, stereotypical view of beauty. You have to understand the reason why. Now, right now, what I hear is people that are being butt hurt. But let's say, for example, I went to Russia. Not anywhere to, in Russia I went. I went to St. Petersburg. And the reason for that is that in Russia, there's more beautiful women than men. There's more women than men because of alcoholism, suicide, war. There's much more women than men. That's, that's like a fact, fact. So you have to take that in accountability. It's not just like, it's not just the water in the country or just some magical thing that happens in Ukraine that makes the woman beautiful there. There's a lot of, there's a lot of political facts and things and events that happen that make that happen. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Lucy Nicotine is a company founded by Caltech scientists as well as former smokers looking for a cleaner, better nicotine alternative. Lucy's bringing you guys nicotine gum in a variety of flavors. Everything from pomegranate, cinnamon, and wintergreen. I don't even know what wintergreen is, but I'm going to try that soon because I'm in Canada and it's cold up here. And what's great about these flavors is that they actually taste great. So while you're trying to kick the habit, you don't have to kick your taste buds. Feel me? Here's the thing. I've dated people before who smoke, and no matter what they do, you can taste it. Like, you ever tasted a girl? Taste it. Not taste it. You know what I mean? Like, kiss the curl. If she smokes, and you could taste the, ah, 
you know, but with this, you can kick the habit. And if you're not going to do it for your own health and your own health reasons, do it for the people around you. Because I'm telling you, if you smoke and you smoke a lot, we can tell. I promise you, we can tell. And it's nasty. And thankfully here at Advent Preach, we're going to be helping you guys to get 20% off all products that you can buy. And they're going to be shipped directly to your door. So you don't even have to leave your home. Warning, this product contains nicotine derived from tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. So go to lucy.co to get your products using promo code ABBA. That's A-B-A. All right. Um, that is just so damaging for women well, and men. Complain to Victoria's Secret. You know, if you like those kind of women, then that's that's what you'll find in Russia. If you mm. don't like that kind of women, then of course I and I meet I, I meet guys that shop? have all kinds of different tastes, right? I meet guys that that have tastes that don't you know don't coincide with mine at all, and that's mm. fine. But mm. for guys that you know like that stereotypical beautiful woman, that's where you will find You're it. Profiling people by where they come from. Do you? I have concern about that. I have a concern about the fact that you think all British women are overweight. Not all, Not all obviously. I it's... mean, actually, more British statistically, if we're talking about the obesity problem in the UK, which is a slightly different debate, but actually more British men problem. are overweight. Well, Richard, we have... You're, you're... <laughs> hey, you're... he didn't say that the men are attractive. Yo. These people are so butthurt, they're trying yeah. to find a way to, like, take apart what he says. The truth is, I think there is an obesity problem in the UK compared to least to other European countries. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure it's the fattest country in the, the U. But it's, Europe. It's, it's really because of here it is. The UK is the most obese country in Western Europe. The UK is now the second fattest nation in Europe, and Brits are dying in three years younger. Wrap it up. We're good. Yeah. It, like he's stating facts here. The thing is this: whenever something is not fun to hear. There might be some truth to that. There might be some facts to that. You have to see why he's saying that. There is a reason for that. There's a social, economic, there's social, there's historical facts. There's yeah. all of these things that you have to take in account accountability. Sometimes it's not fun to hear, but it is what it is. Three English women here. Uh, Brazil, are they all fat, entitled, stupid? I mean... I, I don't know view them. Of, what's your view of the women? You don't know them, but you. But, well, but Richard, you I just, just look, cast your Pierce. expert eye over the women at this desk, for example. I think that that, that would be rude. I'd like to. No, keep no, things, let's I'd hear like you be brutally so, honest. Well, I, I don't. I don't want I mean, to be baited into you're full, you're full of this. I've you've got, got three women. For, I've got respect for the women. You've got here. no respect for English women. That's the whole point. I'm generalizing. You have zero respect for English women. You I've are a respect repulsive for individual. I've got respect for many British women. Who's come on here? When you're actually confronted, when you're actually confronted by smart, intelligent, beautiful women, you can't deal with them, can you? Of course I can. I'm dealing with well, everyone. Go on, then say what you want to say. I don't want to. Faces. I want to tell you that the women are more beautiful in Russia. Right. Shock, you know, and they're very nice. The great, honest, so they intelligent women. So they don't tell women. you that you're an idiot for thinking those things. Is that what you call nice? Who's they? What, the, Russian women do you don't, speak, do you speak don't Russian? tell you. Yeah. You do, fluent Russian. Ish. So they can't really understand a word you're saying, can they? Did your wife even know what, what you were saying? What are you doing? You uh, what is that? Yo, you're so butthurt that the... Les raccourcis que tu prends. Yo, the, the oh man, the mental shortcuts that to take you take to bring to your point and just to insult this man back. You're not even trying to understand his point. You're butt hurt and you're trying to reply to your butt hurtness. That's what you know. You're none of what you guys are doing here is constructive because you're not trying to understand his point. You try to insult them back. He said something that you took a certain way. Now you got butt hurt. And now you're just responding with your butt. Not with your brain. She speaks perfect English and I yeah. speak very good Russian. Right. See? Yeah, yeah. Go on then. Yeah, Gavriel Barosky, Marjina Stet. What's that? My, my, name, is, my name is Dick and I want to marry you. Don't I? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> right. Who are the men that you're helping who currently, well, these, these hugely attractive men who are highly intelligent and want to have successful, committed relationships? How come these incredible men are not finding women here in the UK? I'm a dating coach. I've been doing it for 11 years. I've got successful companies, turned over $50 million. We've got a million website uh, mm. visitors a month. These guys are, are listening to me. They want my advice. And mm. a lot of them are very unsatisfied. 
And the guys that have come and visited me in Eastern Europe, in Russia, are like, wow, you know, this is like a breath of fresh air. As I said, many, many men are going to be really happy with English women. That's great. Can I just so say... the men that are unsatisfied, they can listen to me, they can take my advice, and they might end up very, very happy. Mm. That's, that's my job. I think, I think, like, you're suggesting that there's a cheat's way to being confident and right with yourself, and that cheat's way is to just move abroad. There's a cheat way of being confident in yourself. Is that what you said? A cheat way of being confident in yourself, like what? Having boob implants? Makeup? Changing your hair color? True, true. Hey. There's a cheat way for everything. You know what I mean? That doesn't make it wrong. It's just make it what it is. Hey, man, listen. If I want ladies with fat asses, you know what I mean? There's a couple of African countries I'm going to go visit. Is what it's... And in order to be like available not, in a relationship, just, no, just you just have to do people. the hard work it's... to feel right with yourself and be able... You have to love yourself. And if you do that, you're going to find people <laughs> as the girls wearing makeup. Anyway. Like, that's no, not a not cheap way. You no. don't just move if to another country. You know, if you're a fine. healthy, you know, vegan yoga You buddy, know what, Richard, Richard, then no, probably the bottom you're going to find more people like that in LA. People are different all over the world. I think you are right to seek your future in Russia. Because I think the chances of you, you ever having lost. sex in this country again <laughs> are zero. Um, but it's been... It's been I, I respect but you're married. It's Why been, would you say that? Uh, it was just funny to watch people get butt hurt. It's but, butt hurt and responding to Did he lie? It doesn't mean that all the women in the UK are ugly. It doesn't mean that you aren't necessarily ugly if you're watching this. It just means that, on average, it's going to be more ugly. Listen, everybody... It's like me saying that if you go to certain places, there's going to be more crime. Are you saying that they're all criminal? No, it's just there's more crime. All right, when you go to certain countries, better watch out because it's different over there. In that same token, people look different. In some countries, people are taller. In others, they're shorter. It's not my fault that Filipinos, they love basketball, but they short. It is what it is. Man, they love basketball. They, they love basketball. I've ne I've I never, respect it. I've never seen a country. Yeah, my Filipino brothers. Filipinos. Filipinos. Pinoy. Tell them. They love, they love, they but, love. Pinoy love, love ba basketball. There you go. You take the pawn, you call your cousin. And you set up a match. Hey, man, I don't even know. But Basketball. what I'm going to say is like, yo, there's something ironic about like one of the shortest countries in the world loving basketball. That's funny. But it is they what it is. whole leagues up there. If you want to see tall basketball players, probably go to America. Probably go to Masai Latvia. Country. Masai country. You know, you go to Latvia, they play yeah. basketball and they tall. So they, yeah. it is what it is. But anyways, I don't know. It was just funny watching them get butt hurt. Uh, I had a good laugh. But if you're from the UK, tell us what you guys think. Is he lying? Are most of the beautiful women in London foreign? Do you think that there are more beautiful women in other countries? Hmm. We want to hear your thoughts. Good? Good. Deuces.